So now that I'm looking at this, I, we can actually lower this, the secondary transmission a little bit lower because we get some pretty good clearance between here and here. We can actually lower it about like an inch to inch and a quarter or something like that. That'll make it to where the secondary transmission is lower, the weight of it's lower, and make it a little bit easier to do the shifter and everything. So I think let, let's cut these tacks and just bring this just a little bit lower. So we get the uh, the front mounts for the secondary transmission mostly finished. We'll still have to do a couple things here and there, but we can you know do those later. Now, I think the next thing let's start working on is the plate that gets bolted on the back of this thing to hold this bearing in place. Uh, it should be pretty easy to make. We've already done it for the CBR 1000, so I, I know all the dimensions and I know how to make it faster this time. Plus, this time we have better equipment, so it should be a lot faster to make it. Yeah, last time I had to cut one of these out, I used an angle grinder and it took me like an hour to cut it out rough shape and then another two hours to grind it to uh, to this shape. So yeah, this uh, this ArcDroid plasma cutter definitely makes it a lot faster and a lot easier to cut out pieces of plate like this. So don't forget, you guys can get $150 off if you use my discount code, which is RBW150, and if you use my affiliate link down below. So I'd like to use an annular cutter, but the biggest one I have is two inches and I need two and a half. Uh, but I do have a two and a half inch hole saw, so let's just see if we can see if we can get it to work with this.
So, I forgot about these that stick out from this piece of plate, so we just have to transfer where they are onto this piece of plate, then we can machine a little pocket uh, into here. So I probably should have, uh, I don't know, I probably, I probably should have machined this perfectly flat instead of, instead of uh, taking an angle grinder to it. I don't know, it'd be a little bit tricky to do that with this tiny mill that I have. I'd have to machine a little bit, then move it, then machine the rest of it. So I think, I think grinding it's good enough. And I'll be using Gasket Maker as well as this gasket once I put, put this on for final assembly. So it, it shouldn't leak or anything. Now, next thing let's work on is locating where the holes are on this, so therefore we can drill it into here. I'm gonna do that same trick like I did last time of just take one of the bolts, uh, cut the head off, put this in the lathe, and machine a taper onto the bolt, so therefore I can put it back on here and then use that to punch where the hole is onto this. So, last time I did this, I tried doing it mostly on the mill, and it just it took forever, so let's do it on the lathe this time. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna take some thickness off of this thing and try to, try to lighten it up a little bit. Maybe not, maybe not that fast. terrifying.
So we finally got this uh, this plate installed that holds this bearing in place. Now we're, it's not done. We still need to add the part that's going to be holding the oil seal in place, as well as the hub that's going to be holding the sprocket in place for the output to go from the ch chain go from here to here. Now this kind of took me a really long time to make, so we'll finish this some other time because that hub's going to take me a really long time. So let's work on something else for a little bit. We'll, we'll finish this later. So, I want to quickly explain something, because I know some of you guys are a little con a little confused as to why I'm calling this thing the mini trophy truck, when let's be honest, this thing really isn't, obviously, it's not a trophy truck, but I'm more just calling this thing a mini trophy truck, and I'm more wanting this thing to perform similar to a mini Ultra 4, but in my opinion, just mini trophy truck just kind of sounds better. And that, that was kind of the original plan of building this thing. And then it kind of turned into, really, when you think about it, this thing's kind of is very, more similar to a mini Ultra 4 than it is a mini trophy truck. You know, with the four-wheel drive, low range, medium range, high range. I'm, I'm curious if this, if this thing will rock crawl. Because uh, I know some of you guys are concerned about this center chain spinning at high speeds. I don't plan on ever having this in four-wheel drive at high speeds. High speeds, it's going to be in two-wheel drive, and then crawling, possibly trying to rock crawl this thing, that's when I'm engaging this center chain for four-wheel drive, so it's not going to be spinning at high speed. Or it could be, who knows, I don't know, we, we need to test it, we need to see what this thing will do and all that kind of stuff. But as far as what I'm calling this thing, I'm probably still going to call it the Mini Trophy Truck, because in my opinion it just sounds better than Mini, mini, uh, mini Ultra 4. Also, the plan was originally I was going to try and copy. If you go on Google and just type in mini trophy tr or just trophy truck, uh, you can find like tube chassis and all that kind of stuff, the ones without the, the fiberglass body. And I was going to try to copy the look of the tube chassis where it's all boxy, everything's square and everything. And I, when I added these originally, when I added them and it was just square, it was boxy, and I just I did not like that look. That's why I decided to add bends to this and kind of add my own flair to it. So who knows if it's going to even look like a trophy truck uh, by the time I'm done building this thing. But in my opinion, that's just... The, for me, this is, this is how I build stuff. I build stuff without a plan, without really an idea on what exactly it's going to be, what exactly it's going to look like. I more have an idea on where everything's going to go and how the drivetrain's going to go. And then I kind of figure out everything as I build it. So things change. And designs change, the idea of something changes as I'm building it, so that's why it's a little hard to figure out what to call something uh, when I start building it, and then at, by the time it gets to mostly the frames done, it completely changes to something else. So, But I'm still probably going to call this thing a mini trophy truck, because in my opinion that kind of sounds better, and I do kind of want this thing to still look like a trophy truck, but still perform similar to a mini Ultra 4. So. Anyway, let's start working on the, the roll cage on this thing. We need to start working on figuring out a hoop that's going to be going right here. We need to figure out how tall it needs to be, the angle of this, and then we can start working on that tubing that's going to go over and down and all that kind of stuff. Let's start working on the roll cage on this thing. So I'm trying to figure out how tall to make the, the roll cage, uh, the CBR 1000 from the bottom of the seat to the top of the roll cage is 36 inches, which is this, and it's a little, it's a little cramped in there, especially with the helmet. So with this, I want to put it at 39, I think 39 is going to be good, so, and I'm also thinking about uh, having the piece of tubing have a roll to it, which I think would be pretty cool, so. Let me raise this about an inch and a half, two inches, and this should be good.
how's this look? Is this a good height? Uh, is this it's level? I tried to figure out like how far tilted back we want this thing, and I think this is a good. I think it's good. Let, let's let's hack it in place. So, we need to figure out uh, where to put the bend in this piece of tubing to have this go down to this right here. We need to figure out uh, the angle on which we want, kind of the, this is going to kind of be the windscreen type of the, uh, of the frame, so we just need to figure out the angle on uh, which we want this thing to be. And I had, an, I had a thought, what if we use my tubing roller, and instead of having a flat roof, which I think would, would be boring, what if we uh, put a radius or a bend in the roof, something uh, something like that or that. We don't want to do it too much, so I'm thinking something like that. And then I can bend this down a little bit, so something like that. I think that, uh, I think that looks pretty good. So the first bend I'm doing at 40 degrees and if we need to bend it more, we can bend it more later. Let's just see what this looks like. So how does this look? This uh, does it look cool? Does it look fast? I th I think it's it's too it's too sloping down. There's too much of an angle going down. I we do have to remember that once uh you know this is this is gonna drop an inch and a quarter because it's just sitting on top of the tubing. Once it's in place, it'll be let flush with this. And I can go just a tiny bit higher. I can go just a tiny bit higher like that. So. How does, how does that look? Yeah, I am completely throw, throwing away the original plan of trying to make this thing look like a trophy truck, trying to make it boxy, trying to make it, you know, all square corners and everything. I'm completely getting rid of that original plan and kind of just building it and figuring out where everything's going to go as I build it. So, But I think it's paying off because I, I like this way better. I think this looks way better than the boxy. Those only really look good with a fiberglass body. I know some of you guys have been asking, am I putting a fiberglass body on this? No, I'm not. But I am going to be putting aluminum paneling on the side of this. So it will have paneling. It's just not going to have one of those fiberglass mini, tro or the trophy truck fiberglass bodies because those are way more expensive than I can afford. And building one would take months and be an absolute nightmare. Yeah, let's just let's bend this another five degrees, bring this up a little bit more, and see what that looks like. It's gonna make the roof a little bit more level and make it to where this isn't isn't at such an angle. So let's bend the, bend this another five degrees and see what that looks like. Alright, so I bent it at like another six degrees. Ouch. I 
Hit drop in. Gooch back. I'd say that looks better. That looks better. It's still curved downwards, but it's not. It's uh, it, it looks better. That looks good. Let's go with that. So the question is, do I have this, you know, perfectly straight up and down, or do I bend, do I bend it in a little bit, something, something like that, to kind of try to match the angle of this, but maybe not so, I'm trying to match it a little bit, but not have it exact, something like that. So, I want to give this thing the angry, angry eyebrows look. That's what I call it at least uh, when the piece of tubing right here is bent down and goes back up. It looks like angry eyebrows, so I think it looks cool, so I'm going to do it for this. We just have to figure out how much to bend it. I think I'm going to do maybe five or seven degrees and just see what that looks like. So how does that look? It's it's subtle, but you can still see it. We don't want to go too much because then it just you know makes it to where it's you know we don't have that much that big of a view in front of us. So, we need to figure out how we're doing the back section, how we're connecting this down to here somewhere. Uh, my original thought was just going from here to here, but I don't know. I think that looks better. That looks better, but that doesn't really protect this. It doesn't protect this, and... I don't know, I think that looks better, but it doesn't really, it doesn't protect this that much. And we kind of need to decide most vehicles like this, most off-road, trophy truck, whatever we're calling this thing, most of them have a spare tire. And most of them put those spare tires on the back. Now, I bought these tires as a set of four, and I bought the rims as a set of two, so I don't even know, can I, can I buy a single, I, I think I can buy just a single tire. I just have to make sure it's the same thing and looks the same and same brand and then buy the same rim and everything. But one thing I do want to make sure with this project is I really, that's why I really want to put the radiator up front is I want this area of the, of the frame clear so therefore I can have a rear view mirror because I'll admit one thing that's kind of really annoying with the CBR 1000 is you cannot see behind you. I do have those side mirrors but that can see you know, to the side of you and behind you, but for directly behind you just cannot see behind you. And I'd really like that to be different for this vehicle, so that's why I want to have this area open. I, I could put the spare tire right here, and we could also, you know, move this, move these up and make it to where I can mount the tire kind of like right here. Like that would work and that would kind of protect, kind of protect this. For me, I'm more thinking of that, just because that looks better, but it doesn't protect 
the airbox or anything and just having it all the way out there is, I don't know, I'm all about looks. I'm all about how it looks. Does it look cool? Does it look weird? That's, that's what I'm most in, uh, and also does it function well? That's also important, so. So, we are now at the point where we kind of can't really move on anymore with the frame before we get uh, more of the vital components installed, like the steering. We got to do the tunnel for the, for the chain. We have to finish and finalize the secondary transmission. We have to kind of figure out where the radiator is going to go and get that in place, as well as possibly even gas tank and kind of just get more of the important stuff in place before we do cross bracing, strengthen this frame up and adding more of this to, to this because we kind of need to figure out where that stuff's going to go. So therefore we can add the cross bracing and not have it in the way of anything and also make sure this thing's super strong. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm doing with with this. This is kind of a giant opening right in the middle. And I do want to cover this. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do a giant cross brace, giant X right in the middle or just have tubing go from here to here with the same curve as these I'm not sure yet also I am po pondering should I add a giant piece of aluminum to the roof to have kind of a roof instead of having it open like I do with all my other vehicles I am planning on adding side paneling to all of this in here and possibly even a hood or something like that so maybe I think it'd be kind of cool to add a giant piece of aluminum to have a roof for this thing so yeah, I gotta say, I'm, I'm liking how this frame is turning out. I think, it, I think it looks pretty cool. So, anyway, all that's gonna have to be in the next video of this project, but for now, I gotta end this video here. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see ya in the next video.